All right, Moto Nerds, it's the 141 with Big Cat Racing. Today we're going to go ahead and give you our first product review. You know, here at Big Cat Racing, before we buy a product, we like to do some research, see what the company has to say, and try and look for reviews. A lot of times on YouTube, you'll find reviews from internet sales companies who, I mean, basically their job is to sell it, and they're basically reading to you right off of the paper that is sent out by the company. Here at Big Cat Racing, we're not into that. You know, there's a certain online retailer who lets a sport bike racer do reviews of moto products. And that's not how we like things to be done. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a review today of the EVS RS9. This is a entry level knee brace from EVS. Price point is $298 for a set of them. They do sell them individually at $149. I decided here at Big Cat Racing to go after this knee brace after going to a race and forgetting my current set of knee braces. Now I'm normally a pod knee brace wearer, however I wanted an extra set to leave in a bag to make sure that I didn't forget them again and then have to go and search around the pits and ask somebody if I could borrow a set of braces. Like I said, this is going to be your entry level brace from EVS running $298. From EVS, they talk about having a True Motion 2.0 hinge. That's going to be your hinge on the side here. True Motion just means it moves exactly like your knee does. Okay, if you let it, bring it closed and let it, it will open itself. Just moving basically just like a regular knee does. They also talk about adjustable hyper extension lockouts. Now, pretty much every knee brace on the market is going to come with that, so you can't go too far forward or too far back. They talk about your dual defense total tracking knee cup design, which is, now this is a cool feature with the knee cup. My pods are open on the bottom and the top, and as you move, the knee cup stays in place, which is a good feature. However, with this one, as you can see, as you bend your leg and it starts to go down, a back knee cup comes up to protect, and you're not open anywhere, so you're not worried about perhaps a rock hitting you in any of these locations while your knee is in the bent position. And then also they have the perfect form fit frame. So we're talking about the frame here, you know, perfect form fit. That's the name of the frame, however, to determine if it's a perfect fit depends on your leg. Everyone has a different leg. So let's get right into this. The fit. Um, the knee braces fit pretty well. The only issue I've encountered with the fit is on these straps because they're adjustable Velcro. As you can see, I'm overlapped because down here, they're not... Uh, they're too big to get it so I can just put them down and then lock them in place. The only one that I'm able to use any kind of movement here is on the top one. If you can open them up all the way and do it, you probably shouldn't be on a dirt bike because you're, you're a large individual. Feel. They feel pretty good. I mean, they move smoothly and you barely notice them while you're riding and while they're on. So, the feel is good. If you look, it's a hard plastic and it's pretty durable. If you flip to the inside here, it's got a decent liner that doesn't hold dirt, it doesn't seem to uh, make you sweat excessively or anything like that. Uh, another one of the riders here at Big Cat Racing, the 463, has the RS8, which has a suede liner, and I, it would have been really nice to find that suede liner here in the RS9, but since the introduction of the EBS Web Pro, um, they've kind of gone down a little bit on the RS line. Durability. So far, this is a three-month review. We'll probably have 15, 20 hours on them, and they are holding up quite nicely with no actual physical damage, visible damage. Uh, there's a little bit marring on the paint, but that's to be expected with something that constantly moves. Uh, another one of my issues is its effect on the gear. As you can see, the metal frame is exposed on both sides. These knee braces, like I told you, I'm predominantly a pod knee brace wearer, but these knee braces with the metal exposed have been wearing through my pants quite at a, quite a rapid pace as compared to uh, the pods. However, it's motocross, you know, you buy pants and you don't expect them to last forever. Overall, I think it's a good knee brace, like I said, it's entry level, um, great great buckle system, they're holding up quite nicely, and they were good as a second set of braces to keep in a bag just in case I forgot some. If it's your first time buying a set of knee braces, this would be a nice option, 
because you're not investing $500 plus into a medical grade knee brace design from one of these other companies and you can start with this and really try and get used to them. So that's going to be your review on the EVS RS9 knee brace. Uh, it's a good brace. Here at Big Cat Racing we rate everything on a five star system and we rated this knee brace three stars. Please look for future reviews of a Recluse Core 3.0 EXP clutch and a set of EKS brand goggles. We also hope in the future to be able to do a set of Oakley air brake goggles, but we need approval from uh, the head of operations here at Big Cat Racing to uh, go and invest $160 plus into a set of goggles. Thanks for watching. Big Cat.